Hey everybody, it's Stephanie. Okay, so my hair, my real hair, is here in a big old knotted up mess. I'm gonna be going to bed soon, so anyhow, um, I was just laying here watching some YouTube videos, and I was actually watching my, um, ah, sorry, having trouble getting situated. Um, I was actually watching my last updated video. Um, the one that I did for Jenny, um, or JLJ0198 that you guys probably know her as. Um, and I was, there was a couple things that I was talking about and I was thinking about while I was watching it, and I wanted to get on here and say them before I forget. So, um, one thing is that the Lose It app, it's just L-O-S-E, and then there's a space, and then I-T, and then I think there's an exclamation point at the end. But if you go on an Android phone or a iPhone, you can get the application, and you can actually add people or just do it by yourself. I told her, you know, if you, I said, if you don't want to add me because you're afraid that you won't be honest, then don't add me. But don't lie to yourself about what you're putting in your mouth every day. Yeah, and she actually, like, you know, calculated up the calories, and I won't get into, like, what the calorie amount was, but it was more than what she thought it was, and she realized, oh, wow, I didn't realize I was eating that many calories, and I said, yes, yeah, so there's why you have your stall. Um, myself, I don't eat a lot of calories throughout the day, um... And I probably should eat more. In fact, my husband got on to me the other day about it. Because he was like, you don't eat very much as far as like calories and stuff go. You need to start eating more. And I was like, no. I was freaking out. I'm worried. I don't want to gain the weight. You know, oh, what if I gain weight? And he's like, no. I bet you you'll lose weight. Well, he was right. Um, because I started eating better. Um... I am a big boiled egg person. Um, it's just good protein for me. It fills me up, and it's really it's not that bad. And as far as calories and stuff like that goes, it's good for you. So um, I eat hard boiled eggs or string cheese. Um, I'll eat. Occasionally when we eat dinner, I'll have chicken or something, and then we'll have, like, a vegetable, like, you know, carrots or whatever, um, and then rice. And the rice, yes, I love rice, and it's great and all, but most times if I eat rice before I eat anything else, I throw up, and that's telling my body, that's my body trying to tell me that that doesn't really work, and sometimes chicken will come up, and sometimes broccoli will come up, but... Most of the time, broccoli will come up. But um, I was also telling Jenny that if you look on this Lose It app, you can see that, um, like, for instance, she was talking about how she had, you know, the little tiny, you know, one French fry one day or, you know, a bite of a French fry or something like that or maybe two French fries. I don't even know. But anything from McDonald's is bad in general, especially the first six months of your surgery date, because that's, you can totally sabotage your tool, and you will never be able to know how to control it. Basically, the reason why you have gastric bypass is just like when you're born, and you learn how to eat, and you eat baby food but you start off with liquid, right? Bottle or milk. Um, then you go to mush, baby food. And then it works its way up from there, you know, the little treats that you get. And then before you know it, you're eating on your own and you've learned how to eat. Um, it's the same thing. You have your stomach stapled and you go through hell and back and pain, pain, lots of pain. And you go through mind torture and you watch people eat and I was telling Jenny, I don't know if many of you know this that are new, but I had my gastric bypass surgery on October 
uh, I'm sorry, November 18th of 2009. So I believe Thanksgiving that year was on the 22nd or the 25th or something like that. But anyhow, regardless, it was torture. I literally did that almost on purpose because I thought, well, if there's any time to find out how strong my will is, it would be now. Um, because people are going to be eating extremely yummy food and I'm not going to be able to touch it. I'm going to be stuck on protein drinks and liquid and maybe mush. And I know Thanksgiving rolled around and I was drinking a protein drink. Christmas rolled around and I drank a protein drink and didn't touch anything else. I had, I was able to eat some like soft food. So I ate a quarter, <laughs> a quarter <laughs> of a um, deviled egg. Couldn't even eat the whole half of it, so I ate the quarter of it. Um, and then I think, I think actually on Thanksgiving I was able to eat much, so I had a tiny bit of, not the kind that people bring over with all of the, like, sugar and, like, you know, of the yams, but there was, it wasn't any of that. I had an actual yam that I had bought from a grocery store you know, from the produce section that I microwaved a little tiny piece, mushed it up with my fork, and ate it. And you would be surprised at how much sugar is in something naturally when you haven't had any sugar at all other than, you know, like crystal light. And that's fake sugar. Another thing I told her is that be careful with the sugar-free candies because everything sugar-free, like crystal light and stuff like that, has, like the, you know, like Splenda or whatever, all that stuff is, is, you know, it's not as bad as eating regular sugar, but on the other hand, it does have a tendency to make you more hungry. So, um, that was the other thing. But yeah, so you, the first six months, you're learning how to eat all over again. So why try to, you know, ruin that by testing your pouch to see what you can eat. Don't do that. Um, and, you know, I told Jenny tonight, I said, I'm not perfect, and I certainly don't eat great, but um, the first six months of my gastric bypass surgery, right after, in fact, that first year, I ate really, really, really good. I was pretty cut and dry. I never tried anything for a very long time. I didn't even try sugar-free candy for a long time. Um, I didn't even touch real sugar until I want to say 10 months or more out, maybe even a year out. But, um, I think it was 10 months or so. But, you know, now my body has learned to only allow me to eat so much because I still have restriction and I still get dumping and it's because I followed the rules but it's never too late to start fresh um just like I told her if you were a regular person um to you know and you wanted to eat something you know like little and you wanted to go on a diet your stomach would eventually shrink and you could have restriction and then you won't be eating as much but it's harder to go from that huge stomach to a small stomach it's easier to start from a small stomach and learn that way which is why we had gastric bypass and then she said well I just something else she said which a lot of us say and I said it too she's like well I just wanted to taste something that you know would make me feel more normal and I said but you're not normal you never will be normal again. You're not that normal person with a normal stomach. You will always be different from everybody else. So what everybody else is eating, let them eat it. You have to be responsible for what you put in your mouth. And so, yeah, I don't eat the best of stuff, but I try to eat good. But sometimes I'll allow myself junk every once in a while, but in moderation. Um, but I'm two years and four months out. And again, first six months to a year. I didn't touch that stuff. And, um, you can always look at the calorie intake as far as, like, bread calories and, like, bread or that, you know, 
one french fry, and then you can look at squash or zucchini that's like steamed in the microwave and like a little steamer thing. And the portion that you can have as far as what will make you feel full faster, guarantee you that squash is going to make you feel full a lot faster than that disgusting piece of chicken that you took one bite of that gave you ten times the calories that that piece of squash gave you. So, anyways, that's all I have to say for now. I know, you're like, all? Oh, it's ten minutes long. Okay, hopefully I can upload it. Alright, bye guys.